Our today's lecture is about the production possibility frontier. The concept of production possibility means that how much a country or an economy can produce utilizing all of its resources, its effect of productions and the given state of technology. So using all of your resources and keeping your technology level fixed, how much you can produce, what type of and of commodity goods or the services can be produced within a certain period of a time. For example, usually we take one year. So the concept of the production possibility frontier is that it is also termed as the production possibility curve. The production possibility frontier is a boundary between the combination of goods and the services that can be produced and the combination that cannot be produced. Given the fact that available factor of production and the state of technology is the fixed. So the production possibility frontier as evident from its name that it is the frontier or the boundary between the attainable point of production and unattainable attainable points are the combination of the production of goods and services within a year. It is a very useful and the valuable tool for depicting the effects of scarcity and its consequences. It is used to elaborate very <coughs> important concepts in economics. If we want to represent the production possibility frontier graphically, so on screen you are viewing at the two-dimensional chart where on the horizontal axis we have taken the number of the cell phones produced per year which is in millions. And similarly on vertical axis or the y-axis we have taken the number of DVDs millions per year which can be produced. So now we are assuming that you have a certain level of factor of production and the resources which are the fixed in your economy or the country. And for instance, if we assume that using all of our resources factor of production for the production of DVD, then we can produce 15 million DVDs per year. So utilizing all of your factor of production and the resources and the state of technology assuming is the fixed, you can either produce the 15 million DVDs or you may produce the 5 million cell phone given the fact that if all the resources are diverted from DVDs to the cell phone, you can either produce 15 million DVDs or the 5 million cell phones. But there is a still possibility that instead of producing only one commodity, there is the possibility that we may produce the combination of both. There are a certain combination, for example, point B shows that it is possible that we may produce 14 million DVDs and 1 million cell phone. Likewise, the point C shows that we can also produce 12 million DVDs with 2 million cell phone. And D point shows it is possible to produce 9 million DVDs with the 3 million cell phone. And point E shows the combination of 5 million DVDs with the 5 million cell phone. So these all are the points on which we can produce using all our resources, our factor of production. And if we 
combine all these points so we get this curve at the frontier on which any economy of the country can produce utilizing all of the resources and can chase any other combination so now coming to us how the concept of production possibility frontier is used in economics this basic concept is used to elaborate the concept of attainable and unattainable combinations because the production possibility frontier shows the boundary or the limit to the production which se separates attainable combination from the unattainable attainable ones for instance in the figure 3 point next on next slide we will show graphically that here is the blue line which is the production possibility frontier or the production possibility curve so implying all of your factor of production all of your resources you can produce on any point of the production possibility curve but you can also produce below the production possibility curve the area below the production possibility frontier which is shaded is basically the attainable points so all the points lying between the on the production possibility curve or below the production possibility curve are attainable because you have the fixed resources or the scarce resource so keeping in view the concept of scarcity you can produce on the production possibility curve or below the production possibility curve and any point which is above the production possibility curve is unattainable because we don't have so much resources to produce beyond the production possibility curve for instance the point g shows a point which is outside the production possibility curve so using all of your resources all of your factor of production you cannot produce 12 million dvds and 4 million cell phone because resources are the fixed and technology is the fixed so the only possibility if we want to produce 12 million dvds is that which is the point c if we want to produce 12 million dvds we can only produce the 2 million cell phone but if we want to produce the 4 million cell phone then the only attainable production of dvd is the 5 million which is on point e so the production possibility curve or the frontier shows a boundary or the limit between unattainable and the attainable combinations of the production basically it separates the two type of the combination which are attainable and which are the unattainable other than the attainable and unattainable points of production the concept of production possibility frontier is also used to elaborate the concept of efficiency and inefficiency in the production so the production efficiency is a situation in which we cannot produce more of one good or the service without losing something else without reducing the production of second commodity or the second services because you are efficient you are fully utilizing your resource so if you want to produce more of one product you must have to move resources from the product a to product b so we can depict this concept graphically using this diagram there is the similar production possibility curve represented by the blue color line all the points we 
for example if we take the point e which lies on the production possibility frontier is the efficient point of production why for instance at point e we can only produce the 4 million cell phone with the 5 million dvds if we want to increase the production of dvds to 9 million then you must reduce the production of cell phone to 3 million but here is the point h which shows that we are producing the 5 million dvds and 3 million cell phone but at point h there is still possibility that we may increase the production of cell phone from 3 to 4 million because we have extra resources either we are not using other resources fully some resources are lying vacant or we are using our resources inefficiently so the we can increase at point h we can increase the production of cell phone without losing the production of dvd so the point h is inefficient and the point e is efficient production so all the points lying below the production possibility frontier or the production possibility curve are the inefficient one and all the points which lies on the curve on the frontier are the efficient production points these shows the efficient point of production on all the points of the production possibility frontier we cannot raise the production of either of the commodity without raise, reducing or foregoing the production of other commodity so thank you very much for listening this lecture this will continue the production possibility frontier is a vast topic we will discuss about it more in the coming lecture thank you very much for listening and i would request you to please subscribe my channel and like this video and if you like to get updates on my latest videos also press the bell icon thank you very much